Well, the Magnum Centre in Irvine is now the established West Coast venue for the Scottish National Cross Country Championships and the boom in marathon running over the last few years was reflected in the record entry for this year's senior race. In fact, Glasgow marathon winner Peter Fleming was in today's starting lineup, which also included Nat Muir going for a record fifth win. The commentator at Irvine's Beach Park is Alistair Alexander. With 978 entries, this is the largest field ever in the Scottish Championships. Early morning rain has stopped, and with the overcast sky giving windless conditions, the going is perfect for the athletes. Nat Muir, the holder of the title, makes final preparation under the watchful eye of his father and sister, who have made the journey from Salisbury. This is Fraser Klein of Aberdeen, who had a second victory in the Oakland Marathon in the States last month. And Edinburgh Southern Harriers are led by Alistair Hutton, twice winner of this event and anxious to get revenge on Nat Muir. Well, all the hard work and training is now about to be put to the test and the official starter, Bob Peel, gets them underway at exactly 2.30. And as they head up the first incline, among the early front runners are Graham Williamson, his first ever seven and a half mile event. And also with him is the experienced Fraser Klein. Clubs from all over Scotland are represented, from Hoyk in the south to Thurzo in the north, and even Anglis Scots have returned to try for a place in the Scottish team for the World Championships in New York next month. And at this stage, the, among the leaders are Klein, Williamson, Weatherhead, Copstick, and John Robson. Fraser Klein sprinting ahead, but Nat Muir looking ominous at this stage as they swing out along parallel with the sandy beach. And the multicolored jerseys reflect the range of the competing clubs. And at this stage, with about a mile and a half gone, Fraser Klein still leads, but Matt, Nat Muir is pressing in second place. And Muir looking very confident, leading from the front. And taking that like a steeplechaser right through the steps, although Robson and Hutton are well placed. And it's Muir in the lead from Robson as they approach the beach for the first time. And it's a unique feature of this course is this punishing stretch over the sands. before they turn into the hill. A most demanding challenge, which the runners have to face three times in the race.
And as we come to the end of lap one, it's still Nat Muir leading from the front. to lap three and Nat Muir has established a 150 yard lead over Hutton and is lapping some of the tail enders who are some two and a half miles behind him. Muir stylish and confident driving for home while Hutton looks resigned into second place. And Muir tackling the hill for the last time, lapping a tail ender who gives him a word or two of encouragement as he pushes for victory. Hutton still battling bravely to close the gap, but it's not to be. There's that Muir heading for a victory that will give him a record equaling five championship titles. Hutton finishing in second place, 43 seconds behind Muir, well beaten, with Fraser Klein having to settle yet again for third place. Yes, Nat Muir really has dominated the event in the last few years, winning there, as you can see, in a time of 38 minutes 19. Alistair Hutton in second place, Fraser Klein third, and in the team event, Edinburgh Southern took the honours with Cambus Lang Harriers in second place and Falkirk Victoria in...